Our next guest is best known as Stifler from American Pie, but now he is channeling his darker side in the new action horror movie, The Wrath of Becky. Ooh, Becky. Sean yes. Williams Scott joins us live. Welcome back to the Hey. How are you guys? We're doing great. Sean, Sean I got to pay you a little compliment before we get going. We love having you here, but our producer who did the pre-interviews and stuff said you were her, her favorite Aww. guest she's ever interviewed, which proves you're a real cutie in yeah. real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet, man. Thank you. I gotta say something real quick. I actually sat um, next to—I don't know why I'm talking so loud. So <laughs> uh, I sat next to somebody on a plane who was uh, clipping their toenails. Oh no! And it was so bad you could tell they got like special toenail clippers oh. <gasps> with like thick toenails for and extra pressure. Ew. Yes. Mm. What was your so reaction? What was Thanks. your reaction? I threw up in my mouth. <laughs> Like a few times. It was awesome. I'm still haunted by it. We got to get you in here to tell the full toenail story. Yeah. No, let's, all right, let's get to it, Sean. More than that. <laughs> Sean, before we get to your new movie, we want to take a look back at the start of your career because the first time you were on TV was for a commercial, okay? And I think we have a little clip right. here, so let's take a look. You just move in? Yeah. Nice shot. I was all conference back home. Hey, you thirsty? Sure. Hey, Mom, this is... Uh, Ollie, hi. How you doing? Want some soda, OJ, purple stuff, Sunny D? Sunny D's great. <sighs> I just threw up in my mouth again. <laughs> Honestly, that was my best performance. How sad is that? It was good. That's pretty good. Does yeah. that bring back some positive memories? Um... Kind of not, because I remember like the first day, I think we shot it in like two days. I remember the director saying to me, because I was so excited to actually like get a job. And he goes, hey, we're happy to have you here. Um, we just want to let you know that you're going to throw up today. Because <laughs> you drink so much Sunny Delight. So, yeah, anyways, have a great time. I was just, um, but I didn't throw up. Oh, good. Way to go. That's the good, good. news. That's yep. the good news. And your athlete roles didn't stop there. You also played a football player in an Aerosmith music wow. video. Wow. There you see. do you remember this oh. one? Oh. Very oh, yeah, cute. I remember that. You know what? Um, again, oh. that was my second best performance of all time. Second. Best. Second. <laughs> it was all downhill from there. <laughs> I, I think the scouts will be worried about your accuracy on that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be a question mark for the draft. Oh, yeah. man. I like that you peaked yeah. at Sunny D. That's yeah. my favorite thing ever. All right, let's talk about yeah. your new movie, The Wrath of Becky. It is an action horror movie. Kevin James, Joel McHale, they're actually in the first Becky movie, but I think of these guys and you as funny guys. Why are they perfect for this type of movie? I mean... I don't I mean they're just they're just great actors. Yeah. I don't know, I can't speak for myself. But I you know, loving films that I think that, you know, you you're used to watching movies with the same sort of dramatic actors and, and then when you have somebody you don't really get to see in, in that type of genre, um a, you know, a comedy guy and, and when it works, I think it just ends up being a little bit more satisfying. Yeah. But I hopefully people think the same thing about, you know, Wrath of Becky. I think the movie is awesome. I did my whole focus on the movie was just, you know, try not to ruin it. Very good yeah. job. Good plan. That's what, yeah, that's on my vision board every morning before I come to work. Don't ruin this. Actually. <laughs> now, let, let's get into this, because Becky is a 16-year-old that goes to extreme, you know, measures to get, to get her dog back, basically. And I have to ask you, yeah. as a father of a 16-year-old, did this make you scared of teenage girls? Because you should be. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lulu Wilson, who plays Becky, um, is just like a phenomenal person and um and she just crushes it in this movie so i don't feel like i got like the right example of um 16 year old uh teenagers because she's just pretty wonderful but um but i have heard that they're typically very scary yes <laughs> they will ruin you. we are so, <laughs> the wrath of becky is not the first horror movie that you've been in you were actually in the first final destination movie so how did yeah. you and your family react to seeing you die in that movie <laughs> oh, because no. it was uh, a quite traumatic decapitation yeah weren't you decapitated yeah. by the train <laughs> yeah i got my head cut off yeah. uh, <laughs> Which was fun, um, but I didn't, you know, this is like the beginning of my career and I didn't tell my family about what the premise was. And my oldest brother, um, he went, you know, saw it in Minnesota, you know, in the theater and he had no idea that my character gets his head cut off. And so when it happened, 
he, he told my mom, he freaked out. He threw his popcorn everywhere. He ran up the aisle, apparently went into the bathroom, started throwing up <laughs> and like really had a hard time with it, which is Aww. odd because obviously it's a movie. And so he called my mom. He's like, mom, is Sean okay? Aww. Is he okay? Oh my God. And then when my mom told me this, I thought, well, what? A I intentionally didn't return his calls for like six months just to kind of torture him. <laughs> I love it. I That's can't. Very okay, we have about 30 seconds left, but we have to ask you about American Pie because it's been almost 24 years okay. since we were introduced to Stifler. What would Stifler Why? be doing in 2023? Do? Tell us. I think I think Stifler would be a stripper. <laughs> I think that he'd be working at a pretty like crappy uh, strip club. Um, his uh, his stage name would be Inferno. Yeah. He'd be dressed up as a, a fireman. Probably his body's a little soft. He let himself go a little bit, uh -huh. and uh, and uh, but he's still trying out his you know sexy moves. Yeah. Oh, but Sean, you it, like it. it would be off Broadway, Thunder Down on. But you forget, yeah. Sean, that women like we, women like dad bod. We like a squi the squishy bod. Don't even get me into squishy this conversation. Bots. That's not true. Yes, would you rather is. have Sean or would you rather have this? Oh Sean. my God. <laughs> Sean, Sean. Hey, Jeff, you're a cutie. Come on, oh, buddy. That makes me feel better. All right. Sean, thank you we'll so much for joining us today. To our viewers, you can watch The Wrath of Becky only in theaters so May cool. 26th. Congrats, that Sean. Great. Always great to see you. Yeah. We'll be right back. Come in studio, man. Thank you so much. Take care. Thanks.